What's going on guys? It's Gucci Mine in here and a ton of you have been asking me Omniarch Please make a video talking about leafy sub bots Omniarch Please, can you make a video talking about, you know, whether or not Leafy's subbotting? And I'm just like, guys, guys, all, uh, all of you guys, just calm down, okay? I'm not even kidding. I got, like, zero messages saying, make a video about Leafy, so fucking calm down. I'll make a video talking about it, and I'll give you my opinion and why I think he's not subbotting. So, I guess some people are st saying there's different forms of evidence. Um, one was that he had a spike in subscribers while he was losing subscribers when he was getting all that hate from, I think, H3 h3 or whatever that beef was going on a few months ago but also there was a piece of shit video that was trying to prove that he was a recent purchaser of subscribers on a monthly basis from the sketchy ass website uh, and then it was proven that you can easily edit the web page to make it look like the thumbnail and the link actually goes to someone channel that isn't actually there so it was pretty obvious that, that video was faked but the one thing that people are saying is the random spike in subscribers that he did get while he was losing them because he was losing subscribers steadily then there was like a 17,000 uh, subscriber spike and then he kept dropping so people were wondering if he's still getting all the same hate then why would he randomly spike subscribers while he was at a massive loss uh, and people are saying oh maybe he was buying subscribers to actually offset the loss to make it not look as bad uh, and then more people would stop unsubscribing from him the other thing too was people were saying that he was in a private DM with Keemstar or that not people are saying but Keemstar is saying uh, that they were in a private DM conversation at one point in the past um, where he said to Keemstar that he could purchase likes on a website that he knows uh, and he can you know kind of offset the like dislike ratio on one of his videos that was getting a ton of hate back in the day back when they were friends this one obviously you can't prove or disprove obviously it is a private conversation between the two and you either believe Keemstar or you believe Leafy saying that he never said that either way uh, it's he said she said no one will know unless those private convos are released and obviously Leafy isn't going to release the conversation if he actually is in the wrong and Keemstar has you know always said that he hates when people release private information so you know not not to say that he hasn't done it because he is kind of a dickhead and he has done it before but you know it would be really hypocritical if he did do that to Leafy specifically so I don't think he would release them either so it's basically just one person's word versus the other but either way I really don't think Leafy is sub botting or like botting or whatever uh, and I'll tell you why first off what you have to look at is the fact that Leafy gets a ton of fucking views now this is is the biggest point in my entire argument uh, and that is the fact that leafy gets like over a million to two million views every single video and some videos get like three or four million uh, co pretty consistently which is absolutely like incredible and is like I have no idea like he's literally like breaking records it makes no sense how he's getting so many fucking views when he only has like 4.20 uh, million subscribers smoke weed every day one way that people usually can tell if someone is botting subscribers is if they have a ton of subscribers and a really low average view count you know uh, if they have you know 20,000 subscribers and they only get 50 views per video then it's really obvious that this person has fake subs they're not real people uh, because that's just such a, that ratio is so off like if you were able to legitimately build up a channel to 20,000 subscribers you would have more than 58 people coming back to your videos every time you upload you know it's just it wouldn't make any sense maybe if you got like 20,000 subs back in the day or something and then you completely fell off or whatever I don't even know but the odds of that happening are so low uh, and you know usually when you see people with like 10 15 20,000 subscribers and like 20 to 60 views per video you know that most of them are fake in Leafy's case he his ratio of views to subscribers is insane dude most people get like 10% of their subs as recurring viewers that's kind of like what it is amongst bigger channels uh, some channels are as low as like 6% and some channels are as as high as like you know 14 15% obviously it fluctuates depending on the, the channel whether or not the channel is uh, you you know growing plateauing or declining or whatever uh, but generally it's in that little rare ratio kind of around 10% I would say is a reasonable uh, metric to go by and he's getting like 50% or 25% of his subs watching his videos consistently which is absolutely crazy dude um, and I'm not saying that all 2 million of those people are subscribed to leafy but he is getting the amount of views equivalent to approximately half of his subs on average which is insane like that ratio is so high and like most people will never get a ratio like that like that's just incredible so that's one thing obviously you know the amount of views that he's getting 
are higher than the ratio you would expect from someone who is botting subscribers. Now the argument does come into play, okay, so he might be botting subscribers and botting views. You could easily bot views and you could easily bot subscribers. Um, there, there's tons and tons of websites on the internet, unfortunately, that you can buy fake subs and fake views on and they really I'll give you a disclaimer, they will not help you in search in the search rankings. Uh, if anything, you're going to get like a one to three second retention time from every single view. Uh, and if anything, that's going to decrease your chances of getting higher up on the search ranking. But that's all for a different video. So basically, what I'm trying to say is you could easily bot subscribers and you can easily bot views. And with that being said, you might say, okay, Omniarch, well, now that you've said that, your logic behind the reason why he's not subbotting is kind of invalid because you said he's getting a ton of views therefore his subs must not be fake but what if he's buying the views as well and the argument to that is the amount of likes that this guy gets he gets an incredible amount of likes on his videos um, he like some like his face reveal video not face reveal but he did a face cam very recently that got like 500 thousand likes uh, on that video and it's just mind-blowing like I, I can't believe how many likes he got just for doing a face cam just for doing what I'm doing now uh, even though he doesn't do it regularly so when he does do it regularly you know he makes it a big deal and that's just blows my mind that he would get half a million likes just because he put his face in the video like that is incredible dude I will say that it is actually much harder to fake a like than it is to fake views and subs I don't know why that is but I'm thinking maybe it has to to do with like the verification in the account it maybe it's harder for like a botted account to legitimately drop a like on a video because they're only on the page for two seconds or something I don't even know I don't know anything about the behind the scenes bot work I just have done I've researched you know botting on YouTube because I wanted to know what everyone was talking about and you know it is a little bit harder to bot likes I would assume I actually have never seen a site that legitimately sells likes although I'm sure that they are are there are some I'm sure there are some so the amount of likes that he's getting is definitely proof that he has a solid real fan base on his channel uh, and even if there is a way and I know I'm sure there is a way to buy a ton of likes on YouTube but knowing the prices that I know in my head just from the few research things that I've done over the past few months it would be so 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 difficult for leafy to afford to bot subscribers and millions of views and so many likes if anything likes are the most expensive to purchase when you're talking about YouTube and the fa the fact that he gets so many subs views and likes it would be way out of his budget to purchase that many of all of those things uh, all at once for every single video uh, there's just no way I mean maybe you know what maybe he did buy subs at some point in the past uh, but if you're talking 17,000 people out of 4.5 million uh, you know that's that's nothing that's a drop in the bucket that hasn't that has no effect on his channel it has nothing to do with the legitimacy of his fan base because the vast majority of his fans are real people uh, so that small tiny percentage that are fake is just it's nothing it means nothing who cares 17,000 out of like I said four and a half million really does not make a difference so hopefully if you guys didn't know anything about botting subs likes views whatever hopefully this video gave you some insight into the whole situation and why it's very 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 unlikely that leafy is consistently botting every single video botting subs botting likes botting everything who knows maybe leafy knows a guy somewhere in fucking russia or like fucking iraq or some shit who has a very complex botting program maybe he knows this guy personally and he worked out a deal i'll pay you like fucking five thousand dollars a month or two thousand dollars a month or whatever and you bought the shit out of my entire channel but that would probably be like the biggest faked like sub view scandal on YouTube ever and I really just don't think that's possible I don't think that's reasonable and you I'm sure leafy knows uh, you know if he ever revealed his analytics which I really doubt he will because nobody no youtuber likes to reveal their analytics it's just their own personal information and if you do uh, your competition can see how well you're doing and as a channel as a whole so he'll probably never release them but if you did look at his uh, analytics I'm sure you would see that his retention time is probably very high and that's why he's getting so many views because YouTube is promoting his content and therefore more people are seeing it and more people are staying and watching so I would say that the odds of him botting anything on his channel to a and to a scale that even matters is just 
it's ridiculous there's no way um, I really 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 doubt that that is the case and hopefully you guys you know understand that hopefully I helped you maybe understand some things today hopefully I learned you a thing or two and if I did dude make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video I would really 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 appreciate it you'd be helping out my channel a ton especially because I can't buy any likes if I wanted to because I literally don't know where to get them if you know where to buy likes drop a link down below I'm just fucking with you there's no way I would buy likes that's so stupid and it ruins your channel anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like I said drop a like subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one comment down below telling me what you think about Levy and his channel growth and uh that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys later peace